Hi, and welcome to Cal State Fullerton's Getting Started with Moodle videos. Moodle is the new campus learning management system that will eventually replace the older Blackboard system. In this series of videos, we're going to show you how to get started using Moodle. We're going to show you how to set up your profile, how to set up your courses, and then how to add activities and resources to your courses. In this first video, we're going to go ahead and talk about your profile, as well as the main window that you're seeing here. And you can see I've gone ahead and logged into the Cal State Fullerton Moodle system. Now there are three main areas on your screen right now. You've got this left hand sidebar area here, and you have the right hand sidebar area over here. Both of these areas are called the docs, and they contain different components that allow you to do different things inside of Moodle. The different areas inside of the docs are actually called blocks inside of Moodle, but you can think of them like modules in Blackboard. Over here in my right hand sidebar I have the calendar block, and over in my left hand sidebar I have three blocks that will allow me to control the navigation inside of Moodle. Now down at the very bottom you've got a settings block right here. And you're also going to see my profile settings below it and that's what we want to go ahead and click on. When I click on that, you're going to go ahead and see a variety of options here. Whenever you have a link or a menu item that has an arrow to the left of it, that basically means that there are options underneath that. And you can see now the arrow is pointing down, so I can see the items underneath my profile settings. If I was to click that arrow again, it will collapse. And the same thing is true up here. If I click this arrow that's pointing down, it'll hide the items underneath it. Clicking it again will expand them. And the options that we want to look at right now are Edit Profile and Change Password. Now Change Password is pretty straightforward. You're going to go ahead and click on it. You'll type in your old password and then you'll type in the new password that you want to use for the system. Edit Profile is where you can set up your personal profile inside of Moodle. This doesn't have anything to do with the individual courses that are inside of Moodle that you're teaching. It has to do with your profile as a faculty member here at Cal State Fullerton. If I click on the Edit Profile link, you're going to see we come to another window that's going to allow me to enter in some information. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure that your name and your email address is correct here. After that, there are many settings in here that you don't want to touch. You can just go ahead and leave them alone right now. You do want to come down and make sure that the city town is set for Fullerton and the country is set for the United States. If you wish to enter in a description of yourself, add perhaps your Vita or other information about you, you can go ahead and enter that into this area right here. You'll also see up at the top there are a variety of different formatting controls that you can use. And if you're familiar with Microsoft Word or WordPerfect, many of these will be fairly obvious to you. For example, the bold, italic, and underline buttons are basically the same here as they are in all other programs inside of uh, Windows. If I scroll down a little bit further, I can upload a picture of myself here, as well as a description for the picture. I can list my interests right here, as well as enter in either a personal or departmental homepage, any instant messaging IDs that you wish to add. Under Institution, people usually go ahead and enter in Cal State Fullerton. And then after that, you can go ahead and put your department in. And I'm just going to go ahead and type Campus Information Technology there. You can enter your phone number below that. And if you wish, you can go ahead and put in your mobile phone. Remember, whatever information you place in here will be accessible to the students that are enrolled in your course. So if you don't want them to have your instant messaging information or your mobile phone, just go ahead and leave those blank. I'm going to go ahead now and click Update Profile. And you can see the new profile information that I've entered in right here. And again, any time that you want to go ahead and edit this um, profile, all you have to do is come here underneath settings and come to profile settings and then click edit profile. 
In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up your courses inside of Moodle.